Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to create new user in Salesforce. Let's get started. First quickly know what is a user in Salesforce? Anyone who logs into the Salesforce as a user. Every user has a Salesforce account. The user account identifies the user, and the user account settings determine what types of features and records the user can access. Each user account should contain at least the following. Username. The username must be formatted like an email address and must be unique across all Salesforce organizations. Email address. One email address can be associated with more than one username. The user's first and last name. A user license. A user license determines which features the user can access in Salesforce. Profile. Profiles determine what users can do in Salesforce. Role. This is an optional field. Roles determine what users can see in Salesforce based on where they are in the role hierarchy. Alias. An alias is a short name to identify the user on list pages, reports, or other places where their entire name does not fit. Now let us create a new user in Salesforce. First go to Setup, and then search for User in the Quick Find box, and click on it. After clicking on User, it will show a list of standard users. Now click on New User. Now fill in the details like first name and last name, and the alias will be auto-populated. After that, in User License, select Salesforce Platform and in Profile, select Standard Platform User. In the role, you can select any role for this user. For example, I am selecting Installation and Repair Services. Then fill in the email address. After that, fill in the username like an email address, but the username must be unique. The nickname will be auto-populated. Now, select the offline user, knowledge user, and flow user from the checklist. After that, you can write the name of the company. I am typing, Sino, in the company. And in the department, let's say I am typing, computer. After that, click on save. A user has now been created. After creating a user, further you can do many things with that user, like adding a permission set to your user. For example, I am assigning a permission set to my user that I have created. To do this, in the user at the top, click on permission, set assignment, then click on edit assignment, and then, from available, select any permission set, and click add. Now, click, save. So, that's it for this video. See you soon in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.